pictorial information, classifying and counting things. We see many things around us. Sometimes we see some groups of certain similar things and sometimes we see the groups of different things. It is easy when the similar things are in one group. Let us see how to classify similar things in one group. Where do we see groups of similar things? Books on a shelf. Vegetables in a market. Shelves in a shop. Clothes in a shop. Now, what will happen if you put all things together or anywhere in your house? You will not be able to find your things on time or you will get confused. So for this, we have to classify the things in groups. Let's do it. We have four different flowers. We have roses, lotuses, asters and marigolds. Let's put them in different groups. First, we put all roses together. Then, we put all lotuses together. Then, we put all asters together. And finally, we put all marigolds together. So now, we have four different groups of four different flowers. Now, we can easily count the flowers. Why do we classify things in different groups? It makes it easy to understand what kind of information we have. It makes counting easy. Let's see how to count things. We have four different fruits. We have guavas, apples, mangoes and bananas. Let us count the number of each fruit that we have. When you count, you can make a cross on a fruit. How many guavas? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 guavas. How many apples? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 apples. How many mangoes? 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 mangoes. How many bananas? 1, 2, 3. We have 3 bananas. Count the things and write how many. When you count, make a small cross on a picture. How many hats? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have seven hats. How many kites? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven kites. How many candles? One, two, three, four, five. We have five candles. How many balls? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven balls. Can you classify the things in different groups now? Yes!